Hi, it's Sarah Leonard here from um, A Cat Like Curiosity. Um, I'm just here on this video to share a little bit about um, social, social media management tools that I have used and to just give you a bit of an insight into how they work. So this is the first of a series of um, videos that I'm actually sharing via my Curiously Gorgeous Sisterhood. Um, but this one is available for anyone to view. So we're going to have a look at this social media tool today. It's called Around.io and it's quite a new social media management tool. It's only been around for a little while, um, owned by a man called Netwa, who um, is very nice, very approachable. And it's one of those kind of tools where um, it's still at the stage um, where if you email support, quite often it might well be Netwa that gets back to you. So the person who made it is still very much involved and very much involved in answering questions and that kind of thing. So I'm just going to log in first of all and I'll just give you a little tour around and show you how it works. Now Aroundio um, is really th at the moment anyway it's um, a really brilliant tool for Etsy sellers. You can see here I have this already set up and I have it connected to my Etsy store. So when I logged in, I can see all of my products right here. Um, I don't have to upload any photographs. I don't have to copy and paste any descriptions. All of the details from my um, Etsy store are already here. Now in terms of setting it up, if I click on my settings, when you first sign up for this, you will need to um, connect your accounts. So I connected my Etsy account first of all and then I connected all of the other um, accounts here. Occasionally when you um, log in you might find you need to refresh um, one of your social media accounts. So you just click the wee button and it does it automatically. It's very very simple to connect. You just click on the connect button. You might have to answer, enter into your passwords for those different sites but once you have it connected it's very very easy to use. You also have the option of setting your most used hashtags and saving them, which then makes it easier for you to um, use them when you're planning your social media sharing. So let's go back to the home page where we started off. And you can see here you've got various different options. You can do a Facebook update, Twitter, Tumblr, Pinterest, and you can actually upload images and add in links and different things. Um, so if you're wanting to share not just from your Etsy store, you're wanting to share perhaps from your blog or your website as well, you can do that um, manually here. Um, and you have the option of either posting on your Facebook timeline or posting on one of your pages. So you have the option of having a look and choosing which page on Facebook your um, post will go out to. You also have that option with um, Tumblr if you have more than one Tumblr blog. And here you can see the hashtags all ready to use. So if I click on those, they'll appear in the box and in the same way they will on Twitter. As far as I'm aware, you can only attach one Twitter account to this. So you couldn't choose between different accounts. If you had different accounts for Twitter, you could only use it for the one. Okay. My favorite tool um, for this particular um, social media planner is the either the day planner or this is quite new, the week planner. So if I click on the week planner, um, I'll show you how it works. So basically you can plan your entire week on Twitter. So if I click where it says create tweets and you just need to let it load, I can schedule from today, which is November, which from tomorrow, sorry, which is November the 20th to the following Thursday, November the 26th, um, a whole range of different tweets. And you can see that it's automatically filled those in. It's automatically added some of the um, hashtags that I had st saved. It just takes all of the hard work out of it completely. Um, at the top here we have um, options of what type of posts to send. So we can have 11 product images 
or the one that I most often use is the three quotes, two images and six product tweets. So if I click on that and just let the page load, then you can see that they, they find some inspirational quotes for you. And if you don't like any of them, you can just delete them. You don't have to keep them if you don't like some of the ones that they pick. But it's a nice mixture of pictures, of tweets with pictures, tweets without pictures, um, quotes, and it just gives you a nice um, sort of week week's plan for Twitter. So once you've had a look through, you can see how in one click I've created this whole page of social media updates with hardly any effort whatsoever on my part. Um, once you're happy with the tweets that they've created for you, you just click save tweets. And that means that will automatically post to your Twitter for the next week without you needing to do anything about it. Um, you can do the same type of thing with the day planner as well. So if I show you the day planner, it looks exactly the same. But instead of doing the whole week, you just plan for a day at a time. Um, let's go back to the week planner and I'll just show you how it works for Facebook pages. So again, it's done the same thing. It's just picked out a whole set of different, um, different products from the shop. And some of them it's, it's saving them as a post with a link and some of them it's saving them just as an image. As you know with Facebook, if you post the link on your update, sometimes that can limit the amount of people that actually see your post. So it's good to do a range of different posts, some that have links and some that don't, just to make sure that um, the people that like you on Facebook can see them. Um, so you can have a read through, you can see that there's a week's worth of Facebook updates just ready there to go chosen from my listings on Etsy um, and let's choose the page that we want them to go on so I'm going to put them all onto my a cat like curiosity page and then all I have to do is click save posts and it will post them and schedule them I just want to check that it's chosen the right page it has so save posts and it will schedule them so you can do the same thing with all of your social media channels. So Pinterest, same thing, let that load up. Again, it comes up with a whole list of your different products. You can choose the board that you can choose the board that you want them to publish to. So I usually choose my shop curiously board, or it has an option to select all random boards if you want to. That I suppose depends on what types of boards you have saved on your Pinterest. So all of these are here, ready to go. All I have to do once I've checked them and I'm happy with them, is just click save pins. And that's a whole week's worth of pinning saved for me that I don't have to worry about um, in terms of social media. And you can also do the same with Tumblr. I don't know if you've ever set up a blog with Tumblr I have one blog over there that's quite new, but I share my Instagram pictures over there and I also use this Around EO tool to um, share my Etsy listings over there. Um, and again, I can have a little look through them and delete any that I don't like or edit them if I want to edit them and add different things in. There's an edit button as well as a delete button. Um, I can change the time if I want to. Um, but once I have it how I want it, I just click save posts. And that's a whole week's worth of social media updates saved in the space of about three or four minutes, which is pretty good. Now, if I click on my products, which is this little shop icon on the side here, um, you'll see that the products individually come up. If I click on an individual product, I then have options of ways to save it. So I can choose which image I want to attach, whether it's the first image on Etsy or the second image or the third or fourth, depending on how many images you have. And I can share it in a number of different ways and different places. Here you can go onto Google Plus, onto StumbleUpon, onto OneElo if you want to. Um, and you can see that you can set it to tweet three times if you want, if you have a particular product that you're wanting to 
um, advertise a lot because you've got a special offer on or something like that. Um, you have lots more op options in there. If we go back to my products, <coughs> you can also do what they call an image collage. So if you pick a template, you pick this one, and then you can just select any six photographs from your shop. So let's um, pick some images that we can use just to show you how it works. So these are images that it's pulled from my website, from my um, Etsy shop, sorry. I've got five out of six, I just need one more. And then if I click create collage, and you scroll up the page, it's created a nice collage of all of those images that you can share on Facebook, on Twitter, and on Pinterest. Um, and those images are clickable, so people will actually be able to visit your shop by clicking on those pictures as well. So it's a really, really simple, easy way. It's, it's the social media manager, I would say, for anybody who has an Etsy shop. It's so simple to use um, and so quick. It takes up so little of your time. Um, they've recently introduced, it, introduced this GIF sharing option. So they have a whole load of little GIFs that you can pinch and share on your um, on your social media, if that's your kind of thing. There's lots and lots of different ones in there. Um, and you can search for specific ones. So I could put in a search for cat and just see what comes up. Um, and then I can share it wherever I might want to, whichever um, social media channel I want to share it on. I must confess personally, I'm not a big GIF fan because they just seem to take too long to load on the page, um, which kind of bugs me. But that's another extra little added bonus. Um, if we click on content, yeah, I was too impatient to wait for the GIFs to load. Sorry about that. Um, it gives you a little bit of um, explanation about how it works. Um, we can also use RSS feeds for different blogs. And so it could be a way of keeping up with your favorite blogs, but it's also a way of being able to share easily and quickly from the blogs that you like. So you can see that I have my blog here. I also have um, an another blog for a, a lady who I manage her social media for her. So again, if I find a blog here, so this was my latest blog post, I click share. You can see immediately that I can share that. I can tweet it three times. Um, in the same way that we did with the products. It just makes it very, very easy to share things. Um, if we click here on the scheduled, it'll tell you what posts you have scheduled. So you can just check and if anything's been posted or scheduled for the wrong time. So like, for example, this product has come up and actually it's a Father's Day greeting card, which is a little bit sort of not relevant for now. So I could de delete that just now. Um, because um, Father's Day isn't particularly something that people are shopping for in November. Um, and you can also check your history as well. So check the posts that have gone out um, and just see what you've already shared um, and all of that kind of thing. So I would really, really recommend Around Dio. Um, I have found that I have reasonable reach on Facebook with um, their updates and I found that I've had a lot of interaction via Twitter um, because of the pictures and because of the quotes that it allows me to share. So I've had, I found that that is particularly good and I haven't seen any punishment in terms of Facebook. Often Facebook, if you're not um, sharing from within Facebook itself, they can kind of punish your reach um, for that. But um, with a roundio, I haven't found that to be the case. You, can, you do start off with a free trial period, so you can have a little go at it and just see how you like it um, before you actually sign up. 
Um, but when you do sign up, um, I think if you do give this a try, you'll find that it's just so, so um, simple to use and so um, straightforward and so useful um, that you will, you will want to sign up. Um, and links wise, um, underneath this video, I will share with you a specific link um, so that if you do sign up to Around You, um, I will earn some free months just for sort of directing you in their direction, which is great. And then when you sign up to Around You, you can do the same thing. Um, so just keep an eye out underneath the video on YouTube. I'll share that link with you. And if you want to give Around You a bit of a try, then um, feel free to use that link to take you there. So I hope that's been helpful as a little sort of guide as to how it works. Like I say, I am sharing more of the social media management guides um, over in my Curiously Gorgeous Sisterhood. So if you wanted to join us over there, you'd be able to um, catch all of the action. Um, and you can find that on my acatlikecuriosity.com. It's the Join the Sisterhood page. Um, so thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope it's been useful and feel free to have a look at Aroundio and see whether it might suit you.